Greetings everyone, Mama Goddess here, and welcome back to my channel. This is Mama Goddess's Face, and I want to thank you so much for joining me. This video is for the sign of Scorpio. So, if you have Scorpio anywhere in your natal chart, or, or Scorpio is your sun sign, then this message is for you. All right? Thank you so much for joining me. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. All right, Scorpio. All right, we got the two of baskets, four of baskets, eight of knives, six of coins. Okay, so we got two, four, and five of baskets so far. We got some relationship things going on with you, Scorpio. Okay. So let's see what spirit has for you. Some of you may be in a relationship where you are feeling a little bit stuck and you don't know if you should leave or you should go. Well, let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Um, in either case, Scorpio, you need to speak up. Speak your truth. Say what's on your heart of hearts. All right. Uh, this is for those who are in a relationship, maybe some of you who are in a long-term relationship or you are in a committed relationship, um, but yeah, you are not being yourself currently. This is not who you are. This is not what you want. Uh, you have the two of baskets. Two represents duality, partnership, and balance. And baskets represents the matters of the heart, feelings, and emotions. So, like I said, some of you may be in a relationship, long-term relationship, or long-term committed relationship or marriage. And then you also have this card that says duality. I want to read what duality says. The number 11 comes up for you. So uh, number 11 may be significant to you. Maybe you all have been together for 11 years, for 11 months. Um, maybe some of you just got married and it's like, ah, I think I made a mistake here. But let's read what duality says for you. Number 11. You no longer know who you are or what you want to do. Sometimes you make decisions in the morning, then focus on another thing in the evening. Letting your mind take over, you can no longer hear me or only hear me faintly. Yet I send you many messages, especially inviting you to inner calm. That the time has come to take a break. You need to rest and understand your ideas and thoughts. The duality you feel keeps you from your inner calm preventing you from having faith in yourself. This duality is not a coincidence. It is your relationship with me and your own mind. Meditate, breathe, rest. Taking these moments will be so important to help you hear me and help you trust in the choices you will make. The choices you make in the next six months will be important and only you can make them. So trust in us. So like I said, maybe you're feeling stuck and you have a decision to make. Should I go? Should I not go? Should I stay or what? But it seems like Scorpio, you're not the happiest with the five of baskets in your current relationship. Uh, take it how it resonates. This is just what's coming up. Maybe you know somebody who is a Scorpio and has some things going on in relationships, but um, you also have this card that says, it's not me. This is not me. This is not who I am. This is not the type of relationship that I want for myself. You also have the five of baskets. Five represents change, transformation, and conflict. And baskets represents the matters of the heart, feelings, and emotions again. So again, I feel like it's, it's come to, you come at a crossroads in your relationship, um, Scorpio. Uh, eight represents action, accomplishment, and movement, and nine represents thoughts and ideas. Like I said, you've come to a point in your relationship where here we are. Uh, <laughs> although we come to the end of the road, still I can't let go. Shout out to boys and men. Um, but here it is. You've reached this point. You've reached the crossroads, and it's like, should I keep going? Should I keep doing this? 
rate out your pros and cons. See if you should, if you should continue this relationship. If anything else, I feel like you all are not really speaking to each other. Um, things have just gone stale with you all, Scorpio. And um, maybe you all are leading down the road of divorce. I don't like saying that because I'm not a fan of people breaking up. But if it's not working, then it's not working. Maybe it's time for you to reevaluate your relationship. Take an honest assess assessment of what you have going on. Seven represents self-reflection, self-assessment, and control. And six represents power and authority. So there are some things that you all need to say to each other, a conversation that needs to be had. You all need to discuss where you are in this relationship. Maybe some of you need to have a conversation with mom and get mom's advice. Maybe some of you need to talk to dad and get dad's advice because you have the big queen here. Okay. And then you have the father of coins. Maybe even this is a whole money issue with y'all as well. And maybe that's a big um, uh, determining factor. Maybe uh, money isn't what it used to be and it's causing conflict within your relationship, Scorpio. Because um, you also have these six of coins, which I believe you got that last week as well, Scorpio, with the six of coins. Sorry, something's going on in my background. <laughs> six represents healing, harmony, and cooperation. And coins represents finances and security. So some of you are even waiting for your financial situations um, to change with the six of coins. Um, I believe, like I said last week, you all had the uh, six of coins where it was talking about your financial situations improving. But for this week, I feel like because of your financial situation is why things, um, there's been a big breakdown in uh, communication and in the relationship. Um, you have this card that says, um, spring, I am awakening to my own power, uh, the power of your voice, the power of being vocal in this time. Uh, it says, and you also have the wanting gibbous that says, I find gratitude in stillness. Just like the card said for a duality, still your mind and your heart so you can make the right decision for yourself, Scorpio. I feel like you've been making a lot of decisions for, um, for the benefit of others and maybe even for the benefit of yourself but also so people can see me so people can see what a good job i'm doing instead of making decisions from your heart and listening to that inner voice like the card said you've been that inner voice has been so it's been it's been silent for so long and spirit wants you to connect again to your higher self to to god because you also have this loss card there has been a, a a loss with you in this relationship and you feel like you've lost a lot throughout the time that you all have been together or just in general maybe you have some type of traumatic experience where you've experienced loss and um now spirit is wanting you to uh, again reconnect back to yourself and to your energy you also have this card that says grandchildren this is like the star card in the traditional tarot deck where um things will turn around you're just going through some tough times right now and you know what it'd be like that sometimes but spirit really wants you to connect to yourself in this time connect to your higher self okay because you also have this guide card this guide card typically talks about saying everything you need is already inside of you you just have to be willing to connect i said this to pisces last week that i am the mantra was i am my own guide so you need to say that to yourself in this time, Scorpio. I am my own guide, okay? Um, you also have this learning card, number four. Number four may be significant to you as well. This learning, learning card typically talks about how you have, uh, again, not been yourself. With that card that says, this is not me. You haven't been your whole self. You haven't been your complete self. You've been um, wearing a mask. You've been wearing a mask, Scorpio, for, for a very long time. Spirit wants you to remove that mask, okay? What other messages do you have for Scorpio? Who is Scorpio? What should Scorpio be doing in this time? 
All right. Yeah, so you have this madman at the bottom of the deck. Okay, it says embracer of madness, frenzy, chaos, unruly, and possessions. So, like I said, there's just there's just been so much loss going on around you where it may have felt like chaos, um, traumatic losses, and things of that nature. And again, what may have caused a breakdown in the relationship. But you have this card that says singer. It says uh, resonance, moving hearts harmony, emotion, and performance. Kind of like what Spirit was telling you like uh, last week, Scorpio. Uh, Self-love is the best love. For, so again, finding harmony within yourself, stirring those emotions within yourself, allowing that healing to happen within you, Scorpio, okay? Here we go. Clown. It says, gesture of, last, of laughter, comedy, mask, and performer. Again, Scorpio, you've been wearing a mask for a long time. For so long, Scorpio, you've been wearing this mask that you may have some identity crisis because you have um, you've identified with who this mask is. And you made that your identity instead of the person who's under the mask. And Spirit wants you to take that mask off and just be yourself be at harmony with yourself be at peace with who you are love yourself okay all of you and if you don't know who you are scorpio now is that time for you to find out now is that time for you to connect okay um it may be helpful maybe some of you have um um issues with your father and that's maybe why it is hard for you to connect with yourself because you don't have that um, identity or that type of support that you need. It says uh, family, patriarch, guardian, fraternal authority, ancestral passage. Okay, maybe some of you have um, uh, haven't had the, the the guidance of your father around, and it may be hard for you to connect in that way. Okay, Scorpio. Um, maybe you all have reduced to alcoholism. Just saying, this is just what's coming up as I'm picking up these cards, but take it how it resonates. But one thing about you, Scorpio, you are an influencer. You, um, this card says trendsetter, content creator, follower, online influence. Um, one thing about you, you're very expressive, you're very passionate about the things that you love, about the things that you talk about and care about. So maybe in this time, Scorpio, it's time for you to maybe even share your story on social media, if that's something that resonates with you, or, or to be influenced by positive male role models in this time, okay? Again, just take it how it resonates, but this is just what I'm picking up for you, Scorpio, okay? Just trying to help you, you know, make sense of everything in this reading, all right? You have this card that says respect. It's basically about respecting yourself, respecting who you are, respecting your higher self in this time. Because I feel like, Scorpio, that you have been just taking anything that comes to you and settling for anything instead of really just... Um, instead of taking a strong evaluation of the person or the things that you connect with and um, raising your vibration and the people and things that connect with you need to be on that same level. But instead, you've just been accepting less and disrespecting yourself in the process. All right? So that is your message, Scorpio. I hope it resonated with you. Go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you haven't heard it today, Scorpio, know that I love you. You are loved. You are worthy. And you are worth it. Until next week, take care, Scorpio. And if you would like a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can book on my website. It is The information is in the description box below. All right? Until next week, peace.